I just love the taste of a ripe tomato right off the vine and mm, herbs picked right before they're used. So how can you make sure your garden offers up the best crops? Remember these basics to a higher yield. Soil, sun, water, and fertilizer. Let's talk about soil first. Healthy soil equals healthier roots, so it's important to spend time on soil prep. To keep it crumbly and easier to work, till it down about six to 12 inches, then avoid walking on it. This allows water and air to work into the soil, helping the roots grow. When tilling, you can also work a minimum of two to three inches of compost or bagged cow manure in to help with overall soil quality. If your soil is particularly poor or rocky, you might want to think about building a raised bed. It'll allow you to introduce new topsoil, including bag soil, which is super rich and fluffy. Raised beds are generally 8 to 12 inches high. You can create your own with some basic wood and planning. Check out our how-to video on our website for building instructions. Kits are also available. The smaller ones are great for herbs. Here's an added bonus. Raised beds can be better for your back and they cut down on soil compaction because you're more likely to walk around them than in them. Remember to plan your garden in an area where you're gonna get the most out of the sunshine. A lot of the herb and vegetable plants need a lot of light to thrive, so you're gonna wanna plant in an area where you have almost no shade. In desert climates, less sun is okay and afternoon shade may help to keep the plants from drying out. Also, you wanna pay attention to how high your plants will grow. Tall plants like these tomatoes and peppers should be planted on the north side of the garden so that they don't cast any shadows on your low-lying plants. The plant tag or back of your seed package will give you information on mature plant size and production and also more on watering, fertilizing, and general care. Speaking of watering, all veggies need a good bit of water to thrive. So to check, just stick your finger in the soil about an inch and if it comes out dry, it's time to water. The goal is to consistently moisten the roots but don't make the soil soggy. The best time to water your plants is early in the morning so the moisture doesn't immediately evaporate. Another efficient way to water is with a drip irrigation system. For installation instructions, watch the video at lowes.com slash videos. Fertilizer is especially important for veggies. In fact, tomatoes and peppers often don't even produce well without it. The easiest way is with a slow release fertilizer that you use once a month. However, a liquid organic product is often better for the health of the soil, but you'll need to apply it a bit more frequently. During growing season, be sure to check your garden daily and harvest often because it helps with production. If you leave it on the vine and let it get bigger, it takes a lot of energy from the plant, meaning less energy to grow new veggies. Herbs really like to be cut frequently. The more you snip, the more you'll get. Checking your garden often will also help fend off any problems. If you see a plant that has damage from caterpillars or insects, you can troubleshoot quickly. Head to lowes.com slash grow along for great tips on solving any garden issues that may pop up. If you're taking on a vegetable or herb garden, planning ahead will make all the difference and you can enjoy the fruits and veggies of your labor year after year. Looking for more tips on maximizing your garden and landscape? Check out all our videos at lowes.com slash videos.